Off lateral are the middle carotid arteries, and in the front, coming up to the front, is the anterior cerebral arteries. Again, you look for the internal carotid arteries branching down the posterior part of the arterial circle is the posterior communicating artery. Back from there is the posterior cerebral artery. The basilar artery is unpaired, and then you have the paired vertebral arteries. Sinuses. You understand that this is where the superior sagittal sinus would come up. You can see them on the half head, and you can also see them on most of the torso models. Fortunately, not this guy. This, these should have. You'll see a blue line, right? Yeah. That's the superior sagittal sinus. The inferior sagittal sinus is below, and the only place that they can show you is just the beginning of it. Right, so the inferior comes below the brain. Now let's look at the rest of the sinuses. You can see the straight sinus, because it's straight, it's going straight down. The transverse sinus, it's in the transverse plane, right, transverse. The sigmoid sinus kind of looks like an S, so you can see it below the transverse sinus. And then the cavernous sinus is where the pituitary gland sits, it's the blue area. Yes? Can you see the sigmoid? Mm-hmm. Kind of looks like an S. Okay. Squiggly. Yes. Okay. Any other question? Is it the light blue? Yeah, the light blue. The light blue. Mm -hmm. So it's below the transfer science. Can you guys see it? Okay, the heart. That's going to be super fast because we have what? Five minutes? You, uh, I will put make these parts available for open lab, and I'm just going to use these parts that I have here. That's a good part.
remember, I can pin the blood vessels from either direction. So you need to know them from either direction. Any questions on the blood vessels? How many blood vessels can I pin? Four plus one branch of the aorta called the brachiocephalic trunk. Okay, now let's open this up. What is this called in the middle? Interventricular septum. And what are the walls on the sides called? Oh, myocardium. Oh, myocardium. When you see the chordae tendinae on a cusp, and the cusp is the thin membrane on top, and you see this muscle connected to the chordae tendinae, what is the name of that muscle? And you understand that this has to be the left AV valve or the bicuspid valve or the mitral valve because it's on the left side, right? Um, on the right side, you also have a valve, and it's right here. This heart's really nice. Where's Valerie? She left her in? This heart's really nice. So this one is the right AV valve. Yes, mouse. I, I have to put beach in it. And this is the moderator band. It's only found in the right ventricle. Here you can see the trabeculate carnate. Right? It looks like a trabeculate bone. Right? Spongy bone. And what else do you still need to know? Capillary. Sorry, this is capillary. What about the aortic semilunar valve? Right? When I pin from inside, I put a stick through there. That's the aortic semilunar valve. And this, of course, I'm going to the, what other valve? Pulmonary. Yeah. Right. Do we have to know the moderator band? Because I yes. don't yes. see it yes. on. Come and see it here if you can. No, I mean, I didn't see it. I added, this is, on that list, it's not the sheet part. Remember, I made you write it on the in your comp book. Oh, right. All the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. structures. Okay. That's for the sheet part. Okay. So that's the moderator band, and what was the outside wall? She said. Myocardium. Oh, these. Yeah, that's the myocardium. That's the interventricular septum, and that's the trochlear carnate. What structure is missing? What is it? The pectic nate muscle that you find in the atrium. Turn this one out. Most of the uh, oracle, sorry, no. most of the oracles are missing, but so you can just see the ridges here that make up the pet neighbor. So they have a totality together. You can't see. Them. And on this side though, it has an intact um, head of neighbors. Okay. Any questions? No, that remember this is the sheet part. So that's not going to be there. That's going to be the plastic part. Uh, of that. Yes, remember. This is a really nice part. The only problem with this part is it does not have the brachiocephalic trunk. Okay, guys, now we're going to do lecture. This 